Hey guys, welcome to another collection video, and today we are looking at all the different releases of the original Legend of Zelda. So, the original Legend of Zelda was first released on the Famicom Disk System. It was actually a launch title for the Famicom Disk System uh, add-on to the original Famicom. It actually didn't come out on the actual Famicom, which would be like the, you know, the Japanese version of the NES. At least not initially. So... As it was part of the, as it was a disc system based game, the actual cartridge is a, well it's not really a cartridge, it's a disc with two sides, A and B. Uh, I, I believe uh, the main quest is on side A and then the second quest of the game is on side B. Um, the actual, you know, it's, it's, it's a little bit smaller and all the packing material is smaller than uh, what would eventually release on, on the NES. But it did have a pretty elaborate instruction manual. Came complete with uh, a lot of little like stickers, had some of the backstory, and it had a ton of artwork. Some of the official artwork for some of the characters, some of the enemies, I think every single enemy actually, all of the items, almost all of virtually everything you get in the game. Uh, what was cool about the disc system version, you know, the original version of the game, it actually had some exclusive artwork that was only ever released uh, for this version of the game. Uh, it has, like, Link playing with, like, giant Famicom discs and stuff, and it, it's kind of cute. It's, it's really, um, it's adorable. <laughs> so that was the original release on the Famicom disc system in 1986. And then a year later... In 1987, we got the NES version. I always found it kind of annoying that uh, there's actually a little hole here <laughs> in the, you know, the Zelda-like emblem here. Um, and that is, I think they did that so you can actually see the cartridge because the original Legend of Zelda, as m almost everybody I imagine knows, was not just a standard NES cartridge. It was this, like, gold-plated cartridge. Uh, so it always stood out like if you were just looking at the you know, all the video games at a, at a video game store and you see like you know this one is special just because of of the gold and I think that was a marketing that was a amazing marketing tool and it was a great idea uh, so looking at some of the packing material here um, it came with the instruction manual and uh, what was good about this instruction manual the NES instruction manuals were much bigger than the Famicom disc ones so uh, some of the artwork that's shown in here, it's a lot of the same artwork, almost virtually all of the same artwork, but in particular some of like the scenes, uh, the resolution is much higher because uh, the, the print size and everything is just bigger. Uh, but it, it's always, I always like flipping through it. I think the artwork from the original game is uh, probably some of my favorite artwork for the whole series. Uh, so, and it, you know, it's a shame that um, they eventually moved away from doing artwork for all the enemies, all the items, all the, virtually everything. Uh, but this game, it had it. Uh, additionally, it came with this massive little fold-out map, which this map has seen some better days. But it has most of the overworld, not the entire overworld. And then it has, on the back side, it has some of the guides for uh, the, the initial two dungeons and then smaller guides for some of the later dungeons. But, uh, you know, at the time, The Legend of Zelda was one of the larger games uh, on, the, on the NES console. Uh, it was the first game that had a battery pack save system because uh, I guess the developers anticipated it was going to be extremely hard to beat in one sitting. You know, that's why they, they uh, well, I guess they included a guide for it for at least a portion of the game. Uh, but that's not all. We later got the another version for the NES, which was this was part of the classic series. This was basically just the second run or the re-release of, of the game. Not exactly sure when this one came out. It was a couple years later. Um, the hole is no longer in like on the front cover. It's no longer there. The front cover artwork is a little bit different, as you can see the the side by side. Uh, but the biggest difference is the cartridge it's a traditional gray cartridge doesn't stand out like the gold one i mean you can see the side by sides um this one obviously looks better well, at least i think so uh it stands out uh 
And, uh, yeah, there's nothing different about the game. Packaging, for the most part, is identical. Uh, they didn't, you know, nothing nothing really nothing really changed. Uh, it, it is worth noting that there are some minor differences between the Famicom Disk version and the uh, NES version. In particular, there was a microphone that came with the Famicom Disk system. And uh, so some enemies, like, like the Pole's voice... Uh, you could defeat them by like talking and like you know yelling into the microphone, whereas that feature didn't exist in in the uh, NES version. Also, because the NES was <clears throat> a more powerful system than the Famicom Disk system, uh, some of the sound quality had been improved as well for some of the some of the songs and whatnot. Uh, but that's not all. We got another release of the original Legend of Zelda. Um, it later got ported to the Famicom. So, um, again, it might sound strange. There's a bunch of different systems here. But the Famicom was actually predated the Famicom disk system. Because The Legend of Zelda was a launch title on the Famicom disk system, it never actually came out on the original Famicom. So, if you were in Japan in the late 80s and didn't get the expansion, the disk system, you couldn't play it until... 1994 which seems outrageously long to wait uh but this is a more traditional famicom cartridge and uh it's uh the you know the box is a little bigger this is the more traditional standard size famicom box uh and the packing material is uh it's identical to the nes version at this point uh so it's it's a the, the actual manual is a little smaller but the print quality is still pretty good the artwork is a little smaller than the NES, and everything's just shrunk down a little bit. Uh, it also lost that Disk System exclusive Link artwork. Uh, oh well, no big deal. Uh, and it came with a uh, the same fold-out map that was actually on the NES version is in the Famicom version. So these are all the NES versions of it, but the game had one more version all the way for the Game Boy Advance. It was ported as part of the classic NES series. Uh, nothing special about this. It, it, you know, they did make a full, like a gold emblem now for the for the, the original Legend of Zelda symbol. Uh, but you know, not much, not much to it. I mean, the manual, it it has it's a shadow of its former self. It's it's not even in color. It's it's got this weird green gray scale like a original Game Boy game. It doesn't have the artwork for some of the characters and it has just these sprite images and it, even the scene artwork is in black and white. I don't understand. I don't know why they like as games went got more modernized stuff like manuals you know it went from color to black and white not as much artwork less detailed. Kind of frustrating to me because I love sifting through some of this old stuff. Uh, and then the actual cartridge, nothing special, traditional Game Boy Advance cartridge. Uh, so these are all of the versions of the original Legend of Zelda. They more or less all play exactly the same. Uh, it eventually was re-released for like the Legend of Zelda Collector's Edition on the GameCube. That was part of like a, a collection of, uh, of four games. And it's since been released on Virtual Console for, it seems, virtually every system since the Nintendo Wii. So, um... Thanks for watching, and uh, stay tuned for in the upcoming weeks for more items from my Zelda collection. Take care, guys.